Hello friends, in this lecture what I will try to do basically is take up the concept of built up beams. Now in the previous lecture we looked at moment of inertia. First in this lecture I will introduce the concept of the parallel axis theorem which is pretty important and use this parallel axis theorem to in fact find the moment of inertia of the built up beams or built up sections with respect to a neutral axis. Now let us proceed. For example, in the from previous lecture basically, I have this rectangular section, right? And suppose this is my H and this is suppose B. So this is suppose my neutral axis and about the neutral axis I A and A, the moment of inertia is equal to 1 by 12 B H Q. So if we have to find the moment of inertia with respect to some axis which is parallel to this neutral axis and let that axis be suppose this. Suppose this is my xx axis and if I am going to find out the moment of inertia with respect to xx axis of this whole body. So essentially what I can do is that I can transfer this moment of inertia about neutral axis to this and this will be essentially ixx is equal to 1 i neutral axis plus the area of this rectangular cross section that is A right into this where this is into I should write D squared where D is the distance of the neutral axis to this axis where I am trying to find out the moment of inertia and now in this case D is obviously equal to H by 2 so this will be essentially 1 by 12 B H cube plus A or that in that case this will be B H into H by 2 or H squared by 4 or this is equal to B H cube by 4 right so B H cube by 4 this is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4 so 12 this is 1 plus 3 that is 4 by 12 that is 1 by 3 B H cube is the moment of inertia about x x axis so the whole concept of parallel axis theorem is that I can transfer the moment of inertia from neutral axis to some axis which is parallel to this neutral axis just by adding the moment of inertia with respect to neutral axis plus the area of that cross section into the distance of the neutral axis from the axis I am going to find out the moment of inertia. So Ixx is essentially equal to Ina plus A into T squared. And let us use this concept of parallel axis theorem to find out how can we find the moment of inertia with respect to, with respect, uh, to neutral axis. Right. Now let us see what are built up beams or built up sections. Now built up sections are essentially some kind of sections which have been built together or amalgamated together. Suppose there is a rectangular section and on top of it I put a circle then I on top of it I put a trapezium and then I built some sort of a section, right? And this is essentially the concept of built up section. And we essentially do it because just to increase the moment of inertia because if we can increase the moment of inertia or I or the second moment of area as it's popularly called then what we are going to do is basically we are going to decrease the bending stress. And if we can decrease the bending stress therein the body can take in bending well and essentially our purpose will be served. So the essential concept is that we got to increase this moment of inertia and that we can do by, by amalgamating some sort of sections together and this is the basic concept of built up sections. Now let us see how can we can do it. Now for example uh, I have this kind of a section wherein this is some sort of a rectangle and this is some sort of a rectangle again and I amalgamate these two things. Right. Now suppose this is B1, this is suppose H1 and this is B2 and this is H2. Now this is of an area A1 and this is of an area A2 suppose. Right. Now, now if I am going to find out, if I am going to find out the moment of inertia about the neutral axis then basically what I'm going to do is find out the neutral axis and essentially we know that the neutral axis coincides with the center of gravity so the first step of ours would be to find the center of gravity of this built up body and how can we find out the center of gravity it's very simple what we got to do is basically because we are finding the neutral axis and the neutral axis is assumed to be along the xx axis for now we will not consider anything in y y axis we will only consider the x x axis so suppose I take this as my reference axis and I am going to find out the centroid with respect to this axis x x right 
Now, how can we find it? For example, the centroid, suppose, is the amalgamation of this A1 and A2, right? And this is the total area, A into this distance, so that is equal to essentially YC, will be equal to this A1 into, this is H1 by 2, plus H2, plus A2 into H2 by 2, so YC is essentially equal to this by A. And herein I can find out YC. Now, when we can find out YC, we can locate the centroid, right, with respect to the x-axis. So this is suppose my centroidal axis, right. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to find out moment of inertia with respect to this axis. And essentially, if we can do that, we can find out the moment of inertia with respect to neutral axis as the neutral axis coincides with the centroid as we have seen earlier. So, if this is my neutral axis or if this is suppose x dash, x dash and then I am going to find out i about x dash, x dash what I am going to do basically is I am going to have the moment of inertia for example if this is an area, this is a body of area A1 what I am going to do is that I am going to find out the moment of inertia of this area A1 with respect to its centroidal axis and then transfer this moment of inertia with respect to centroidal axis after I find it out I will transfer this to this x dash x dash axis by the parallel axis theorem similarly I got to find the moment of inertia of this area A2 and I got to transfer it to x dash x dash right so essentially if this is my x double dash x double dash and this is the centroidal axis of this area A1 then Ixx would be equal to Ix dash dash x dash dash plus area A1 into this but this is the, if this is the distance this distance suppose is equal to C1 right plus into C1 squared right this is for if we transfer this moment of inertia to this for area A2 I again have moment of inertia acting at, a, at the centroidal axis of A2 and this suppose is x dash 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 and x dash 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 this x dash 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 x dash 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 is the centroidal axis of the area A2 and essentially I got to transfer this moment of inertia that is acting along x dash 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 to x dash x dash right which is the centroid which is the centroidal axis of the old built up section so this will be plus i x dash 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 plus a2 which is the area of this i or rectangular kind of section into c2 where c2 is this distance c2 squared so essentially if we can use this principle we can find out the moment of inertia of this whole built up section with respect to the neutral axis and C1 and C2 can be easily found out x dash dash x dash dash moment of inertia about this can be easily found out by the previous the previous lecture I have shown how to find it out and x triple dash also can be found out so essentially this is all for this lecture and I hope you have enjoyed it and thanks a lot for listening thank you